Born in Ames, Iowa in 1939, Ted Kuzer always loved poetry. Ted Kuzer is professor of English at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. He was the United States Poet Laureate from 2004 to 2006. Ted is the author of 11 full-length collections of poetry. He is the former Vice President of Lincoln Benefit Life, an insurance company, and lives on an acreage near the village of Garland, Nebraska. He is married to Kathleen Rutledge, editor of the Lincoln Journal Star. A lot of his poetry focuses on the Great Plains. I would like to show average people with a high school education or just a couple years of college that they can understand poems. They are not to be afraid or feel they are being tricked by them. I'm trying to do that by example. Ted Kuzer. Though you in the nursing home are miles behind me now, your hand with its dark blue H-box is here in my hand. Your fingers warm from all the hot steel handles they held in your 88 years. Lovers of threshing machines, of sickle bar mowers and balers, but cooling now and slowly going all blue, black, over brown, like a pool of blue oil on the floor of a barn. That darkness working its way up into the cuff of your new plaid shirt, up past your elbow, sharp as a plowshare, there on the wheelchair armrest, easing over your heart like a shadow. A hundred miles down the road, stopped by the highway, and sitting in the shade at the edge of the shimmering cornfield, I say goodbye. I am headed both farther and farther than you, I are With love, I take your blue-black hand, which is held nearly everything once, and has squeezed it shyly and politely. We think that the poem, A Goodbye Handshake, is a flashback poem. The speaker is remembering this elderly person who he is very fond of. The part, your lungs warm from all the hot steel handles they held in your 88 years. That told us that this elderly woman was a very hard worker and a caring person. The speaker is sad that she is dying, but he is happy that they led a good life together. Chauncey thinks the poem is confusing. Caitlin thought the poem was really good and it made her think about her grandparents. Ethan thought the poem was okay, nothing special, and I thought it was okay but not one of my favorites. Oh. 